What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I've had a few people reaching out to me asking me for an update in the Sergio Brown situation. Now, if you don't know about this story, it's a wild one, I can assure you. Sergio Brown is a former NFL football player, and from the look of things, he might have killed his own mom. Him and his mother were reported missing. They winded up finding his mom's body in a creek behind their family home. Her death was ruled a homicide, but Sergio Brown was still missing. Now, the next door neighbor actually caught Sergio burning his mother's clothes in a bonfire in their yard on a ring camera, on his doorbell camera. And shortly after that, Sergio Brown fled the country and he's been posting weird videos from Mexico. Now, like I said, people have been asking for an update. And the scary part is, there's no update. I mean, when Sergio was posting those weird videos on Instagram, yes, they were psychotic. Yes, they were insane. Yes, they were pretty scary. Creepy whatever you want to label it. But at the very least, we kind of had eyes on Sergio. We knew that he was still around. We knew the area that he was in. We knew that he was at the very least alive. It, did, it didn't appear that he hurt himself. And, you know, we're hoping that he didn't hurt anyone else either. But now it's been radio silence. Now, both of Sergio's Instagram accounts have been deleted, scrubbed off the internet. And a lot of people think that law enforcement maybe did it. But I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, if anything, Sergio posting on Instagram is helpful to law enforcement. That would be a useful tool in locating where Sergio is and... In Sergio's last video, a lot of people were able to find his location. Now, I'm thinking that's maybe the reason why Sergio decided to delete his Instagram. I think he underestimated the internet. I think that he thought he could post these weird videos and people wouldn't know where he was, but his location was found very quickly. So, in my opinion... I don't think that law enforcement deleted these Instagram accounts. If anything, that's like a blessing to them. You have someone who may have killed their mom and he's out here on the run in Mexico. Or let me rephrase that. Because Sergio is not technically on the run. Sergio is technically still missing. He has not been labeled a suspect in his mother's death. He's not even been labeled as a person of interest as far as I know, so technically he's not on the run. Technically he's missing. But I, I, I would assume that law enforcement is looking at him as probably the leading suspect in his mother's murder case, seeing as all of the evidence is kind of right there. You got a guy that fled the country. Um, he was supposed to be missing. He's posting these weird, crazy videos. It, it's all kind of, the case kind of solves it, solves itself, if you ask me, but maybe they have to go through loopholes and certain protocols and have to deal with certain rules and regulations when dealing with someone who is out of the country. So yeah, I don't think that he deleted his Instagram account at all. I think that he caught on to the fact that people were catching on to where he was and maybe he panicked, but that's the scary part. You know, not having eyes on this dude, because if you're capable of killing your own mother, you're capable of basically doing anything, anything at all. And I'm wondering if he, this is the guy who has a good amount of money. He's a millionaire, next NFL football player. By now, he could be anywhere. Now, one update, I guess you could say, that I do have is that Sergio's mother was actually buried. Her funeral was yesterday. And a lot of the speculation online, even some rumblings from Sergio's family, 
people were kind of halfway expecting for Sergio to pop up. Or at the very least, maybe acknowledge it on social media, but that didn't happen. I don't think Sergio is going to come back or try to come back to the U.S. If he did, I, I don't know if he would be arrested on the spot or what would happen. Because like I said, law enforcement hasn't really said too much. And I don't really have the confidence that they're doing anything they can to bring this guy in. But, I mean, we never know what's happening behind the scenes, but they're being very tight-lipped about all of this information. So, I definitely don't think that Sergio is going to come back to America. If anything, Sergio has maybe made it even farther from America by now. But the longer this escapade goes on, the more guilty he looks. And at this point, you know, I really don't know what's going to happen. For one, I really thought that this story would have blown up bigger than it has. For the most part, not too many people are talking about it. And if you ask me, this has the makings for like one of the biggest news stories, you know, ex-NFL football player possibly kills his mom, posting psychotic, crazy videos from Mexico it, it has all the makings of being a very big story, yet you're not seeing much about it. And part of me wonders if the NFL has anything to do with that. Like, is the NFL working overtime to make sure this story doesn't get more publicity than what it does? Um, because, you know, the NFL, they like butting into situations that have nothing to do with them. The NFL likes making comments on social, on social and political situations that they should stay out of. Yet here we have ex-NFL football player missing or on the run after possibly killing his mom, and the NFL has yet to acknowledge it. And if anything, it just seems like there's something um, suppressing this story, if you will. There, There's no reason why this isn't a headlining story, yet it's basically been swept under the rug. The dude's Instagrams are gone and who knows what's going to happen next? Let me know your thoughts though down below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.